YouTube, Stick here, welcome to Maplewood Studio and welcome to the first in my series of videos on recording. Um, now the whole idea for this uh, series of videos is to try and help you, uh, the beginners or the bedroom studio artists or the people that are just getting going, find their feet, help them choose the products that are going to serve them well and they're still going to want to use in five years time. Uh, when I started getting into recording five, six years ago, I bought the wrong kit to begin with. Um, I bought a cheap microphone that didn't last, and it was well, it's probably more the fact it wasn't suitable for what I wanted it for. Um, and it's so frustrating because you buy magazines that you think are going to help you, and basically you're flooded with choice, and you end up just scratching your head, and you, some point, you just click and go, that do. So hopefully, this is this little series is going to help you. Um, and what really provoked me to do this is the fact I've been getting asked quite a lot of questions about audio interfaces and microphones and all this kind of stuff on YouTube, which is great. So uh, I hope this helps you guys. And, and if you've got any other sort of specific questions you want to ask me as this uh, series progresses, feel free um, and I'll try and help you as much as I can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record a track just myself using one microphone and a one audio interface into my MacBook uh, recording with Logic. I put together a package that you'll see the list down below that is basically contains an audio interface which is the Apogee Duet, a microphone which is the SE Electronics 4400A, a pair of headphones which are the AKG 271 Mark IIs, a pop shield or pop screen for your microphone when you're singing, uh, a mic stand a mic cable, both of which make sure you get decent quality. Um, skimp on those, you'll be binning them and replacing them again within weeks. Cheap mic stands and cheap mic cables are just crap. Buy decent ones, they will last you. Um, what else is there? Blah, 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 blah. I think that's it. Um, if I've forgotten anything, check the list below. But I haven't put in there um, computer stuff. I'm going on the assumption that you guys have all got your own computers or laptops or MacBooks um, and that side of it is obviously down to you. However, if you're on a PC, you're going to need some sort of software. The software that I'd recommend to get you going, where well, you can also use it on Apple gear, is Cubase Essentials. Um, and it's about £100. It's a stripped down version of Cubase, which is an excellent piece of software and it's everything you're going to need to get going. If you're on a Mac, you've obviously got GarageBand in, built into the operating system, which is great. It will get you going. However, if you want that a little bit more or you don't get on with GarageBand, I recommend Logic Express. I use Logic Pro. I get on with it really well. However, that's £150. Cubase Essentials will also work fine on Mac gear. So that side of it, that's down to you. And recording software or DAW software, Digital Audio Workstation, if you're not familiar with it. Um, it's uh, there's quite a lot of choice out there now, so you know, see if you've got mates that are using specific stuff. Try it out. Go into shops, have a look at YouTube, see what other recording software looks like, and um, see what you think is going to suit you best. That's that bit done. So yeah, the idea is to record a song or a track just using the setup that I recommend. Uh, I'm going to do a specific video on the microphone. I'm actually using one to record my voice with now. Uh, I'm going to do a specific video on the audio interface um, and then we'll start building the track up. Uh, I'm going to be doing it all on my own so you know it's all perfectly doable um, there's going to obviously be a lot of trial and error in it. You don't just set a microphone in one place and away you go. Um, so hopefully I'll be passing on as many tips and tricks as I know to try and help you guys um, get some good recordings. If you're wondering what the SE Electronics 4400A would sound like recording your band rehearsals, for example, or if you wanted to record a live sort of performance in a function room or something or whatever. If you go to the studio SoundCloud page, which is in the link below, which is just soundcloud.com forward slash maplewood hyphen studio, there you'll find a track from Monkey Lord Rehearsals, which is my band. Most of you that subscribe know I'm in Monkey Lord. Um, but that was recorded using just one of these mics set up in the room. Um, so Chappers, Jaden and myself spent a little bit of time getting the levels right. Um, so we did a few little test takes, had to listen back, adjusted levels, adjusted frequencies, um, and then away we went. In that recording there aren't any vocals. We were only had floor monitors for that, so the vocal fold back was a little bit 
you know didn't cut through in the recording enough so we had, we chose not to put them up so there you go that's it that's an introduction to what we're doing i hope you like the sound of it if you've got any questions please feel free to get in contact with me um and i really hope that what i can offer you guys helps you find your feet and gets going um like i say the whole package that I put together is about a thousand pounds in value so that might seem a lot of money to some people, it might seem really cheap to others, um, but I've gone for products that you're gonna still be using in five years time. I can't stress that enough, how quickly you'll progress and you'll demand more and more and more out of your system and out of your t sort of recording tools. Um, having a great microphone at the core of your system is gonna help you so much. There's not many microphones that are really as versatile as a 4400A, um, at that sort of price range um, and if you th you can't afford the 4400A there is the baby brother which is the 2200A which is the same capsule it looks totally different if you go onto the SE Electronics website but it's limited in its polar patterns um, but again we discussed this more in the video that I'm going to shoot about the microphones so yeah enjoy the ride Enjoy the song. God knows what it's going to turn out like. I haven't done it yet. It's literally, I'm doing this week by week. So, and you're going to hear me singing, which is which could be funny. So, as I say, anyway, we're looking for audio quality, not song quality. So don't judge me. All right. Take it easy, y'all. Um, stick out. Keep an eye out for video number two. Ladies all, bye.